All right, today I have a little special, special gift for myself. And I give a shout out to Shad Warnell who helped me get this of Eastwood guitars. So this is my second Eastwood. My first one was the uh, Bach one. So let's see. We're going to get some of this stuff here. I mean, I don't do too many unboxings. So, it's always just getting set up and everything. It seems like to reinvent everything. Okay, well, this box, let's see if I can get this in front of it. Yeah, has the staples all over the place. It's got a little hole in it here. I don't know if you can see that hole in it, but hopefully it's okay. Um, there's no top there. Let's kind of yank that off. It's like I'm resting in the box. Kill myself. Four. Oh, it's number three, four, three, three, three. That's not so bad. Okay. Another box here. Two. Surprising. It's got the Pack in here. I'll do that so you can see that first. Put that to the side. I'm going to get my uh, Kiso Delos over here on the side watching, jealously watching. I was wondering if I'll get played. I should say what this is, huh? Well, maybe you can tell from the background I put a little slideshow together. My uh, all-time favorite guitarist happens to be Bill Nelson of Bebop Deluxe fame. And as a solo artist, Red, Red Noise as well. So, just drop the strap. Put this on the side here. Okay, so we got a nice case. <laughs> Thanks, Shad, as well. I, I ordered another case. I didn't know it came with one. And I got this uh, wonderful deluxe strap. I don't know if it's deluxe. It's, oh, it's Eastwood of Canada. Oh, Canada. Wow, for Mystery Science Theater friends, this is like a, the final um, sacrifice. Genuine leather made in Canada. Very good. So. It's going to be a nice, thick leather strap. That's very really nice. Okay, so I will put the strap, uh, how about I just put it in the box? Okay, I can always do some editing. Like I'm kind of nervous here. All right, so that was technically the unboxing. This is the unwrapping. Okay. Right over here, a nice little case. It's got a, we won't be able to see it, but it's like a denim. Denim look to the case, very good. And probably like many of you, we went from like the hard shell cases to these fabric cases. It's a lot easier carrying them around, I don't know, protection wise, but very nice though, huh? Got an embroidered, actually embroidered Eastwood logo. I said it's from music area cases. All right, very nice. Okay, a nice bag here. All right. Now, so I know the camera angle is going to be kind of interesting. So I'm going to open this up here and I'm going to. False, false surprise. Okay, there we go. Here we go. All right, so we got here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so this should be cool. I think I don't know if it's actually designed by Bill Nelson, but I forgot. Are we ready? I'm just kind of ooh. Oh, it's nice. Look at that. Look at that guy. Wow. Okay. Look at that guitar. That is awesome. I'm just put the case inside here. Put that up. Oh, it's bigger than I thought actually. So it's kind of like uh, the size of it, 
uh, ES-335, which would make somewhat sense if those of you follow Mr. Nelson. But um, as far as the size, the body size goes, kind of, it's big. Well, that is the widest guitar that I have. Um, that, yeah, well, probably not as big as my Explorer, but very, very nice. Um, this is going to take getting used to. I'm used to a non painted neck. Uh, all my kiesels have that uh, tongue whale, but there you go, right? Let's see, is it in tune? Oh, that's not bad. All right, well, very good. I'm going to, I don't know if we can see any more of that. Those three pickups, I don't know what kind of pickups there were. I don't really hardly know anything about it, but I wouldn't say it was on a whim, but. Tell switch one, two, three, four. Oh, this is one, two, three, four, five. Five switch, five position, tone knob, volume knobs. Um, the uh, little knob tops are kind of translucent, so I hope this is coming through. We have to change the angle here. Great headstock, old Bill Nelson style. Sign the name with the star, but old John. I think it's owed to uh, Jean Cocteau, if you know who Jean Cocteau is. Great, great, great. Okay, well, let me put that down for a second. Get it over here. Here's another view of it. I, I don't know if I how smoothly I can rotate this if it's on a tripod. But. I guess I'll find out what that that button is for. Maybe it's a, some kind of some kind of ray gun. So it's sort of Bill Nelson style and 1950s kind of sci-fi. Here's the headstock. Abalone, but... Acrylic. And laying it. Turn him around. Or her around. The back of it. Tuners. Tuners are kind of interesting too. That's actually a kind of an art deco style shape. You're familiar with that? I believe. Very nice. I know you all want to hear what it sounds like, but you know, I got a giant problem with I I mostly play at home through earphones. That makes any sense? But there are some YouTube videos that kind of have the sound of it. By people who can actually play guitar.